Hey guys, how's it going? And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to display HTML inside the text view. So, um, first of all, what we need is we need a text view in our layout. So, just drag any of this text view objects to your layout screen. And then we will switch to the text of the layout and then we will delete this line that is android text this uh, this line of code is used to set the text that will be displayed inside the text view so we will delete that as we will be making use of uh, of the strings.xml to to and a find by view method to display the text inside the text view so we will just delete that and then maybe you can you know change the ID of the text view if you want, or you can use the default ID that the Android Studio has, uh, you know, set it, uh, set for the text view. So either you can change it or you can leave it to default. Then the next step is to go to the, you know, the Java file of your activity. So in my case, I'm editing the main activity. So I will go to the main activity.java. And then inside the onCreate method, um, you need to have these two lines of codes. Now, you don't need to copy them exactly. So I'll tell you what, what you need to copy. So what we are doing here is we are creating a text object, new te a text view object, new text. So you can name it whatever you want. So this can be named whatever you want and then um, this code needs to be as it is, this part of the code that is text view, find view by ID, R of ID. Now this needs to be as it is. And then in this part, you will, you know, use the ID of the text view where you want to display the HTML. So in my case, the ID of the text view is text view. So I'll just use that text view, or you can use any other ID that, you know, you have set for the text view so make sure that you do that and then in this line what you need to do is you need to you know this part should be same as the object name so in my case the object name is new text so i will be using new text here and then you will write new text dot set text now this um, part of the code can be copied as it is this part of the code and then in the you know this purple part Actually, what it is doing uh, is that we are going to be displaying HTML from uh, a string, all right? And strings are uh, stored in the strings.xml file, right? Now, you can find the strings.xml file inside the values folder. So just open the values folder and there is your strings.xml file. And in case you're wondering where to find the main activity.java, then it is found in the Java folder. And then inside this, uh, your package name, then you can find the class of the, or the Java file of the activity. Anyways, coming back to the string. So what we need to do is we need to, you know, define a string um, and that string would, you know, store the HTML that we will be displaying. So the procedure to defining a string is, um, if you open the strings.xml, you can see that they have defined a few uh, strings uh, previously so we will just copy this and then create another string now as you can see that you have an option to set the name of the string so um, maybe I will just set it to HTML so when you go back to your Java so what you need to do is you need to have the name of the string that contains the HTML here so in my case the name of the string would be HTML so I'll write HTML right here and in case you uh, you will replace this HTML with whatever the name of your string is. So in my case, it is HTML. Now, um, the settings or whatever you see between this part, um, between this part and this part is displayed um, whenever, you know, this string is called. So we will replace this part um, with, uh, you know, with the HTML that we want uh, to display but it's not so easy what you need to do is first of all you need to have a line like 
um, a less than sign, then an exclamation mark, then a, a square bracket, then you need to write C data. Um, I think that you need to have, uh, have, you need to type it in uppercase. So make sure that you type it in uppercase. Then we need to have another square bracket. And then um, you need to, you know, then uh, you need to, uh, you know, the closing tags, you need to add those. So you will have a closing bracket and you will have two closing square brackets and then a closing, you know, a greater than sign. So now what you need to do is you can display whatever HTML that you want to display and you can just paste the HTML between these two lines. So let's say I have this HTML right here using some of the basic functions of HTML like headings, various types of headings, paragraph, then the break command so i'll just you know copy this html and paste it here so this is how you can display html inside a text view so um, it is pretty easy let me just go through the process again let me just revise it for you so go to your main uh, main layout of the file or the uh, you know go to the layout of your activity in which you want to display the HTML, then add a text view, all right? And then, you know, make sure that you delete the Android text um, command there. Uh, I don't, um, I guess uh, even if you don't delete it, the code will still work, but um, precautionary, uh, you should delete it, all right? And then you can set the ID of the text view as whatever you wish. Then go to the Java file of that activity and inside the onCreate method copy these two lines of codes. I already, to, to, I already told you that what you need to, you know, tweak in this code according to your, you know, project. So you can make the adjustments accordingly. And then finally, you need to go to the strings.xml file where you can, you know, um, define a new string and make sure that you use the name that you define this new string here so make sure that the names are same then you need to write this you know code um, so when uh, and then you need to you know paste the html between these this code right so that's what you need to do now let me just run the program once and let's see if it works or not and also um in case you're wondering where you can find the layout of the activity, then it, um, it is, you know, it is stored inside app, then your REST folder, which stands for resources, then go to the layout, and then finally you can have the, you know, activity or the layout of the activity. Okay, so that's it. Now let's run the, you know, project to see if it works or not. Okay, so we'll be running it on the latest Android 6, that is Marshmallow and API 23. All right, so here is the app. Um, you can see that um, all the HTML is being displayed correctly. We have the uh, heading one inside the H1 text and heading two we have inside the H2 text and so on. Then I had the subtitle um, inside the you know, H4 text. So the sizes are varying accordingly. Then we have the content, and as you can see that um, whenever I'm using this break tag, then we have been to the next line. So everything is working as it should, and we had some space here since I used the paragraph tag over here. So it's working pretty well, all right. So all the HTML is being displayed correctly, although I do uh, think that there are some limitations like when I tried displaying the table, I had some problems with that. I couldn't get a you know table to be displayed inside the text view. So maybe there is some even better way to do this. But for my needs, it was enough. I only needed to you know uh, make sure that I can have a lot of text inside my app and which is formatted correctly. And uh, I needed to use some thing like bolds, italics, underline, and all those kind of things. So that worked pretty good. So it is a really nice and simple and easy solution for that. And in case you still are, you know, confused or you still have some problems, don't worry. I will be leaving uh, 
a few links in the description to the code of you know whatever code that i use i will be leaving those um links uh, to the code and also i will be leaving a uh, you know link to my blog where i have explained this whole process in extreme detail with every line of code that i have used and you can just go through that very slowly however you want and understand that and still if you have any doubts just leave them in the comment section down below and i will get back to you well thanks for watching and have a great day and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this